Look at that, guys. We have a diamond potential whitetail here. Hey, guys. We're back here on the Hunter Call the Wild, and I'm Lady Legend. Today, we're going to be doing part two of the Mississippi Super Guide. In today's video, guys, we're going to be doing a full guide with hotspot maps for these four species. Black bear, eastern cottontail rabbits, wild hogs, and whitetail. The other five species have been covered in part one of the Mississippi Super Guide, which I will leave a link for you guys on the screen and below the video. In today's video, we will cover max level, diamond trophy rating, best weapons, max weights, best times to hunt, collars, rare variations, and of course that hotspot map for every species will be shown at the end of each segment. So basically what I'm going to do is show you everywhere where I am finding each of these species so that you guys can more easily find your zones and not spend a whole pile of time looking for animals. Now if you do enjoy today's video guys or learn anything at all, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. Smash that like button. It is super amazing for the algorithm and I really do appreciate it. So thanks guys for that and let's head right into it. Now before we head into the first species guys, I wanted to show you something very important that changed with the last update. So you will find these boats along the shores of the river and they are actually transfer, transfer points, points that have been added so that we can get across the river and actually pick up our kills from the other side. So there is the other boat. So simply by running up to the boat, pressing E to interact, it takes me straight across the river to this transfer point right here. But the problem is guys, they don't show on the map right now. So I have found nine out of 10 of these and I have put them on a map for you. So here they are right here. I have also added wood paths that you can get across to show you everywhere where you can cross the river. And I even marked where the bridges are, even though they do show on the map, just so they stand out. So that'll definitely help you to get around in Mississippi. Now, all of these hotspot maps and this transfer point map, I am gonna post to my Discord for you guys to easily reference, and I will leave the link below the video. So that changed last update, and that is a very sweet change. Our first species for today's guide is black bears. Now, black bears are a class seven species, and because of that, you can use the 300, but you can also use any four to eight rifle. So because of that, I am not carrying the 300 with me. We are just gonna use the 308 and you will get integrity. Now black bears drink here in Mississippi from 20 until zero or 030. So you will need your night vision binoculars. These are the gen zeros and you will find them in the high tech hunting pack. So we are actually in the bottom right hand corner of the map and you will find bears on all of these lakes down here while they're drinking. Not very big ones, but we do have bears. Let's see if we can't take a couple bears down. Let's see, did we get two? I think we did, I think we did. Well, that was sweet. All right. So best weapons for black bears, the 300 is awesome, but if you don't wanna take it, you absolutely do not have to. You are totally fine to use the 308, the 303, the 30 odd six, or the M1, any four to eight will do just fine for black bear hunting. Now, since the last update guys, bear rare variations have changed. We actually do have rare variants now and we never used to. The rare fur variants for black bears include dark, black, and dusky. Cinnamon is now rare with approximately a 1% spawn rate and blonde and brown bears are now considered to be very rare with less than 0.1% spawn rate. So that is very, very interesting. It never used to be that way. I absolutely love that we do have rare variations for black bears now because it makes them so much more fun to hunt. When there are no rare variants, it's just not as exciting. And this guy is a dark. That was a beautiful right lung shot and the 308 did an amazing job. We didn't get double lung, but you know what? That's totally okay. And the bear did definitely not run too far. Now the other maps where you will find black bears are Leighton Lakes and Silver Ridge Peaks. And that guy is a black, so that is also a common variation. And diamond for black bear is 22.8. That is what you're looking for for a diamond. Now, they do go to nine legendary. I have never seen an eight mythical black bear make diamond ever. But if you guys have, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about it and love to see a capture. And I'm sorry that my dog's yipping. Shut up, Dag. <laughs> I should have got him to sit. My apologies. So this is where we are. Bottom right hand corner of the map. And all of these lakes are great for black bears when they're drinking. 
Okay guys, so now we're in the top right hand corner of the map and there are at least two drink zones for black bears up on this lake here. Now as you can see, hunting them in the dark, it is very thick and it can be very difficult to see them. Now I did spot another bear over here, we're gonna go get him. Now there is only one collar for black bears guys and it is the predator distress fawn collar. So if you want to call in a bear, if you're doing any bow hunting, or you just want to get them out of the brush, that is the collar for you. And this is probably another bear zone. It is. So whenever I pick up a need zone indicator, I always pull open the map so that I can check if I do have a rare variation black bear or whatever species from that track. And that is a good way to find rares. All right, we're gonna put out a couple calls and see if any black bears come out of the woodwork. Now, usually 200 meters is as far as the distress fawn caller will go. When your bear is any further than that, he or she will not hear the call. So I know I have a bear over in this area, but I doubt it's gonna hear our call. Okay, there's our bear, let's get him. Love that animation, that is probably my favorite animation and I did not get the shot. I don't think I got him. And that brings us to the map. So the circled areas are the best for black bears in my opinion. All the lakes in the top right and the top left are awesome for black bears. Now you will find them along the river condensed in small areas. Now I don't promise to show you every single zone for black bears but that'll definitely get you started with your black bear hunting. The next species for today's guide is wild hogs. Now, wild hogs are kind of a copy and paste of feral pigs from Tiawaroa, but they did change them. They made them much bigger and did give them a new name. So I think that's pretty cool. Now, wild hogs go to level five. They can make diamond at level four and level five. And their drink time here in Mississippi is from three until six or 6.30. So you're gonna need the night visions to hunt them. They drink in the dark. Now they do feed in these gridded areas. So wherever you see these grids, you should find their drink zones not too far from there. So wild hogs are a class four species. So you can use any four to eight rifle. So we are using the 308 and splat. I love the 308, just love it. So this guy is a black gold. Black golds are not rare for wild hogs. The rare variations are actually very different from feral pigs. Dark brown, brown hybrid, and brown, black gold, and black spots, those are all common variations. They have two rare variations being pink and albino, which is considered to be very rare, less than a 0.1% spawn rate. So pink and albino are the rares. Nothing else is rare with wild hogs. Now, if you are looking for a diamond, 144.2 is their diamond trophy rating. And as I mentioned, I would imagine level fours can make diamond, but don't too often, but definitely level fives are what you're looking for. Of course, when you do find a five, it does not guarantee you a diamond, guys. It is a potential diamond still has to reach 144.2 for trophy rating. So this is where we are on the river and I have a zone down there as well. All right, we found another zone of wild hogs drinking. So I'm actually gonna call them in. There is only one caller for wild hog and that is the wild boar caller. It's kind of annoying, not gonna lie, but it does work, usually. <laughs> Here they come. Here they come. Now, it is smart to call them out just so you can get a spot on all of them because that is the number one rule for finding trophies. Spot absolutely everything. And Mississippi is a very, very thick map and it is very difficult to do that. So I actually do use my collars way more in Mississippi than other maps just so I can make sure to spot everything. Cause you just never know when you're gonna find a diamond or a rare. So that guy, I believe is a brown hybrid. And these are black spots. So the black spots I believe are rare with feral pigs, at least they used to be. I haven't hunted them in quite a while, but they are totally different in Mississippi. So best weapons for hunting for wild hogs, any four to eight will do. So you can use the 30 odd six, the 303, the 308. If you do wanna do bow hunting, 420s is what you want, but bow hunting for wild hogs is going to be very interesting. Now I don't love the angle he's giving me. Give me a better angle, my dude, come on. All right, I'll take it. I got him. 
So max weight for wild hog is actually 205 kilograms or 452 pounds if you are picking up tracks. And that's a great way to find diamonds. So this guy is a black spots. He is a silver. And we got a right long shot there with the Zarza 308. And that's another zone right along the gridded areas. So that is definitely where you want to be searching for your wild hog drink zones all around the rivers where there are gridded areas. Once you get down here, you're not going to see as many. Okay guys, so we are down on the bottom part of the river now, and I do have a drink zone right here for wild hogs. Now I wanted to show you this specifically. Look at that! They are actually drinking from the river. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I thought that was pretty sweet and worth noting. Okay guys, you will find wild hogs drinking intermittently along the river. I haven't found too many around the little lakes, but if you would like to hunt them in their feed zones, go to the gridded areas, but I find them very hard to see there, so I do prefer to hunt them in their drink zone. The next species for today's guide is Eastern Cottontail Rabbit. Now, Eastern Cottontail Rabbits are very tough to hunt, guys, because Mississippi, as you can see, is insanely thick. Now, I personally think the easiest way to hunt these, especially if you are looking for a rare or a diamond, is by picking up the tracks. Now, if you are looking for a diamond eastern cottontail rabbit, you're looking for a track that is 2.1 kilograms or 4.6 pounds. That is their max weight. Now, tracks will lead you to their need zones. Almost impossible to spot out here. Usually, you will find them in all these gridded areas. They feed from 4 all the way till 13 or 13.30. Now, they're going to have more than one feed zone in that time. I like to set the time for 5.30 in the morning and come out here. That's my favorite favorite time to hunt them. Now I actually did get a diamond. I got very lucky and spotted one rabbit and it was a three. And let me tell you, I spotted him and then he was gone and I spent hours tracking him. It was actually a her. They actually are female diamonds. I don't believe male cottontail rabbits can make diamond. So they do go to level three. They can make diamond at level two or level three, but picking up the track is probably the easiest way to find a diamond. Now they do have rare variations. Their common fur types are gray, light gray, brown and light brown, and they come in leucistic, which is rare, albino and melanistic, both of which are very rare with a less than 0.1% spawn rate. So if you do pick up a track with a rare fur color for an Eastern Cottontail Rabbit, man, track that baby down because they are not easy to find. Now we just need to find one. Okay, we have found an Eastern Cottontail Rabbit. Now, this area right out in the middle here, this is a great spot for lots of different species feeding and Eastern Cottontail Rabbits are one of them. Black bears feed out here, lots of rabbit zones and gray fox. Beautiful. All right, so zeroing is really important when you are shooting at rabbits, guys, because they are very tiny. What I like to do is take my shot from either 150 or 100 meters so that I can zero perfectly. So I'm actually going to be using the 22 LR here. And the reason I have chosen the 22 LR over the Zarza 15 22 LR is because it has 10 shots and I really, really do want 10 shots when I'm hunting quail. You need them. Other weapons that are amazing for cottontail rabbits include any shotgun with birdshot. I like to use the Cacciatore because it does have six shots. The Virant 22 LR, the Zarza 22 LR. You can use the 22 handgun and you actually can use the Kalman on rabbits if you wish. And splat. The nice thing about this area is you can actually see them out here. There are also a whole lot of rabbits in this area, guys. Look at all the zones here. But this is all forested area, so really you have to track them. The nice thing about being out here is you can actually see them, which is a treat in Mississippi. And look at that. We also have whitetail out here feeding. I've actually been running into quite a few whitetail feed zones. Now I do like to pick up tracks for rabbits whenever I can because I am looking for that max weight track. Now this one spooked and it is a max weight track. We're gonna have to track her down. 2.1 kilograms is max weight. All right, level one, silver 1.1. So diamond for Eastern Cottontail Rabbit is 1.9 and they do have to be female. Males do not make diamond. Now they are class one, so you can only use those class one weapons. And they can go diamond at level three and level two, but mostly level three. Now rabbits don't troll that much, but I have been trolled by a Euro hare, so they can troll you. Just I don't think it happens too often. This area is excellent for feeding Eastern cottontail rabbits. 
bottom right. Okay guys, that does bring us to the map. Now the red areas are my absolute favorite for hunting for cottontail rabbits because I find you can see them a little bit better there, but you will find them in all of these areas. They are very hard to find, so definitely track, track, track those rabbits, guys. And you will also find rabbits feeding in all of the gridded areas. The last species for today's guide and one of the most popular is white-tailed deer. Mississippi is the third map for white-tailed deer and yes, you can grind for a white-tailed great one here in Mississippi. But guess what guys? There are 70 drink zones for white tail in Mississippi. There are a lot. So you shouldn't have a hard time finding them but finding every single zone is going to be tough. We are going to run the top coast. I have not run it yet but I understand there are just a pile of them at the top but they're intermittently everywhere there is water. I am finding all kinds. These are all whitetail zones down in the bottom right hand corner. These two are both whitetail and you will find them intermittently along the river. You'll find them at all of these lakes and you will find them up the west coast. So basically they're everywhere. It's just finding every single zone that is tough. Now whitetail are a class 4 species so you can use any 4 to 8 rifle when you are hunting them. The new Zarza 308 is an excellent option. I am really, really enjoying the 308. You can use the M1, which has traditionally been my favorite rifle for whitetail hunting. And there is the 303 and the 30 odd 6. You can't go wrong with any of those guys. They're all going to work great for you. Now, whitetail go to level 3. They can go diamond at level 2 or level 3. And their diamond trophy rating is 255. So when you are checking your zones, guys, be sure to check for an initial spawn great one. You can have great ones right on your map. This map was totally reset with the last update, so all the white tail on it are brand new. So if you did find zones before, you are going to have to refine them. Some of my white tail zones are still here, but a lot of them have vanished and I do have to refine them. We're good. All right, we'll take two. Now, Whitetail drink here in Mississippi from 8 until 11 or 11.30. Their drink time did not change with the last update. That is the same drink time they have in Rancho Del Arroyo. All right, so here is our beauty buck, 210.1. And that was a beautiful double long shot with the Zarza 308. So this is a tan. Whitetail actually come in four different common fur variations, guys. So tan is one of them. There is also brown, dark brown, and red brown. Those are all common. Now the rares for whitetail are piebald, which is considered rare, with approximately a 1% spawn rate. And then we do have albino and melanistic and they both have a spawn rate of less than 0.1%, so very, very rare. Now, if you would like to learn how to grind for a great one, I will leave a link to my Whitetail Mississippi guide below the video, and I will link it on the screen here for you guys. So this is where we found this zone right here, and those are both Whitetail zones as well. So finding all of your Whitetail zones to do a grind is a difficult thing. Now, when you are looking for your zones, guys, you want to not only spot, but you want to be looking for tracks. When you find whitetail tracks, track them. They will lead you to a drink zone if you are hunting during whitetail drink time. Even running around after their drink time, picking up zone indicators is an awesome way to find your zones. Listen for mating calls, look everywhere, and those tracks are so important. I actually picked up more than half of my Mississippi zones by picking up zone indicators while I was hunting for gators. So that is an awesome way to find your whitetail zones. And as I mentioned before, there should be about 70 drink zones for whitetail here in Mississippi. So there are a lot to be found. Okay guys, so we are up here on the top coast running it for whitetail zones. And there we have one. Oh, there's a pretty one. Look at that guy. So with there being 70 drink zones for whitetail in Mississippi, it is completely impossible to farm them all. You only want to set up for 10 to 15 zones, however many you can get through in one drink time rotation. And your whitetail should just respawn into the zones you shoot at as long as you have them all discovered first. And that is the tough part. Now, if you are looking at this estimate, if you do have a level two, and 255 falls within the estimate, guys. That is a diamond potential whitetail. Now this guy, he only goes to 235, but if he went up to 260, he could be a diamond. So identifying potential diamonds is super important to increasing your diamond count. Oh, we'll take him too. Sure. 
So when I am hunting whitetail, guys, I do carry with me the grunt collar. There are actually several collars you can use for whitetail, but my favorite is the grunt because it gets the most reach. I find it works for about 230 meters, which is better than the rest of the whitetail collars. Now the other collars you can use for them are the deer bleak collar, the snort wheeze collar, and there is whitetail deer scent as well. And he's a 196 gold, and this guy is a 221, so that is a pretty beautiful whitetail. And look at that, double lung heart, what a beautiful shot. 213 meters with the Zarza 308. So guys, these are zone indicators, and just picking these up, even after whitetail are done drinking, will give you the zone. Now what this actually tells me is I have eight deer drinking in this herd. Where we shot these whitetail, there is a zone indicator for nine. So there is a split herd here. There are two different herds drinking at one zone. And that is what you call an awesome zone. Now this is something you're gonna see quite a bit when you are hunting whitetail in Mississippi, guys. The gators will absolutely spook your whitetail out. So keep that in mind when you do have zones on lakes that do have alligators at them. So they might not be the greatest places to set up for your whitetail grind. So guys, these are the whitetail drink zones that I have found so far. I do not have all 70, but I do have quite a few, but this should definitely help you to find your zones. They won't be exactly the same as mine, but you should find them in the same areas. So there you have it guys, that concludes part two of the Mississippi Super Guide. So that along with part one gives you full guides on all nine species in Mississippi. And I really hope you guys did enjoy the video and I hope you learned lots. If you did guys, go ahead and smash that like button. It is super amazing for the algorithm and I really do appreciate it. And if you do have any question guys, let me know in the comments. I am happy to help in any way that I can and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care guys. If you guys would like to learn amazing hotspots for every species in Call the Wild, definitely click on these where and when super guides. Take care guys.